Now, let's take a look at this example of simulation in Excel. Walton Bookstore must decide how many of next year's nature calendars to order. Each calendar costs the bookstore $7.50 and sells for $10. After January 1st, all unsold calendars will be returned to the publisher for a refund of $2.50 per calendar. We assume that demand for calendars at the full price is given by the probability distribution shown in the table on the next slide. Wharton wants to develop a simulation model to help it decide how many calendars to order. Here in this table, we see that there is 30% chance the demand will be 100 copies, 20% chance the demand will be 150, 30% chance the demand will be 200 copies, 15% chance the demand will be 250 copies, and 5% chance the demand will be 300 copies. And next, let's take a look at the algebraic model for this problem. In this model, let C be the unit cost per copy of calendar, which is $7.50, and P is the selling price per copy of calendar, which is $10. Uh, little s is $2.50 which is the refund or savage value per copy of calendar. This is the demand for the calendar, which is a random variable. We are going to use rent function in Excel to generate random demand. Suppose we run simulation capital N times, and di is the actual demand of ith iteration, and we define our decision variable q to be the copies of calendars to order. Now, let's look at some of the intermediary variables we are going to use. Capital SI is equal to minimum number between Q and DI. That is actually the actual sales of ith iteration. And RI is given by the maximum value between 0 and Q minus DI. That is the copies of calendars returned of ith iteration and yi is going to be the profit of i iteration it is given by unit price p times sales si plus little s times the number of copies returned which is ri and then minus cost which is given by unit cost c times all the quantity q in the end we would like to uh, maximize the expected profit which is given by the average profit of all those n repetitions. In Excel, we are going to try different values for all the quantity Q and see which value generates the highest expected profit. An Excel standard table is a very convenient tool for this purpose. In this Excel template file, we have two worksheets. In the first one, we are going to deal with single order quantity and in the other worksheet we are going to consider various different order quantities okay let's start with single order quantity to begin with we have the basic information such as unit cost unit price unit refund and we're going to put all the quantity in cell b9 uh, we can try 175 as a possible order quantity or you might try different number like 225, 250, or 150. On the right hand side, we see the probability distribution of the demand. For example, 30% chance the demand will be 100 copies. To make it easier to generate random demand from this uh, distribution, in E column, we calculate the cumulative probability. For example, in cell E5, the cumulative probability is zero. That means there's zero chance the demand will be less than 100 copies. And then in cell E6, this is the probability that the demand will be less than 150 copies. As a matter of fact, this is exactly the probability that demand will be 100 copies. And in cell E7, 
we get the probability that the demand will be less than 200 copies. This is essentially the sum of two probabilities. Probability of demand being 100 plus the probability of demand being 150 and so on and so forth. And in the end, uh, the probability the demand will be less than 300 copies will be 95% and the remaining 5% will be the probability that demand will be exactly 300 copies. In cell B12 to B15, we are going to calculating the uh, results for all the, in this case, 1000 iterations or replications of simulation. Uh, first one is average profit, and the last one is the maximum profit uh, in row 19, first we are going to generate a random number and based on the random number, we are going to use VLOOK function to pull out the demand from the probability distribution table. And based on the random demand, we can calculate the number of copies returned and then calculate actual sales, revenue, cost, refund, and in the end, the profit. And we are going to repeat this process 1,000 times, and we're going to use one-way data table to run simulation. As you see over here, uh, I created the uh, number of replications. It goes from one all the way to 1,000. I hide most of them to save space. All right, let's get started. And uh, the average profit will be equal to average of all those profits from 1000 replications or iterations and standard deviation will be equal to stdev.s because this is a sample stdev.s of b24 to b1023 Minimum profit will be equal to MIN of those 1000 profits number and maximum profit will be equal to MAX of those 1000 profits. Alright, next let's generate a random variable. We can use the function rand parentheses in Excel. And this function generates a random number between 0 and 1 that is uniformly distributed. And next, we are going to use VLOOKUP function to pull out the demand of this iteration. It's going to be equal to VLOOKUP. Lookup value will be this random number and then The table error is in cell E5 to F9, and we would like to return a number from second column of this table. For example, as you see over here, uh, this random number is equal to 0 0.247. The corresponding demand will be 100 copies. Next. Let's calculate how many copies of calendars will be returned. It's going to be equal to the maximum number between 0 and Q minus B. You see, this random number is changing all the time because Excel is recalculating on its own. Uh, in this case, the random number is 0 0.18, resulting demand 100, because our order quantity is 175, so in the end, we're going to return 75 copies to the publisher. If you wish, you can change 175 to a different order quantity. And the sales will be equal to the minimum number between all the quantity Q, and 
the demand D, whichever is smaller. Okay, right now the random demand is 150, which is less than or the quantity 175. As a result, we we'll return 25 copies and the extra sales will be 150 copies. The revenue will be equal to unit price P times our sales. The cost will be equal to unit cost 750 times the number of copies we ordered. And the refund will be equal to $2.50 times number of copies returned. In the end, the profit will be equal to revenue minus cost in them plus refund. Now we are ready to run our simulation and we are going to use one-way data table in Excel to do that. We create one-way data table in column in this case. To use data table, first of all, we are going to tell the data table in Excel where the formula is coming from. It is the uh, profit, which is in cell I-19, and then we are going to select the uh, Intel table, then click Data tab. Under Data tab, look for What If Analysis, and you see Data Table over here. Click it. Because this is a column data table, so there's no input for row, and the column input will be actually any empty cell. The reason is that in A column, those are simply are index, the repetition number, okay, and which doesn't really matter to the profit we generate in B column. So in this case, I simply click B23. You can, of course, click any other empty cell. Let's click OK. You see, by using one with data table in column, Excel generates 1,000 random numbers automatically. As a result, we get 1,000 profits as well. And here in cell B12, we get the average profit of $248.13. And this is based on the order quantity of 175 copies. Here, I want to bring one thing to your attention. In order for a data table to work well for simulation in our case, you need to do something. Click Formulas tab, look for Calculation Options. Uh, make sure you check Automatic, otherwise uh, the data table won't be able to recalculate the values for you. And next, let's take a look at the second worksheet in which we are going to calculate the expected profit for various order quantities. And hopefully, after we have done that, we can identify the ideal order quantity for the Wharton Bookstore. The first part of the uh, worksheet is the same as the previous one. The difference is over here. Uh, starting from row 13, we have listed different order quantities, starting from 100 all the way to 300. Of course, you are not going to order more than 300 copies, and you will never order less than 100 copies either. And for each order quantity, with increment of 25, we are going to calculate its average profit and standard deviation of the profit. And just like we did earlier, we are going to run simulation uh, 1,000 times. But this time around, we are going to run simulation for each of the different order quantities. So this is going to be a two-way data table. But first, let's take care of the uh, formulas for average profit and standard deviation of the profit. 
and this is the average profit for all the quality of 100 for 1000 replications and then for standard deviation we're going to use stdev.s and then we're going to populate the formula to all the other order quantity and next we are going to generate the random demand it's going to be equal to the lookup this time around we are going to use the rand function directly over here and then we are going to look for this number in the demand distribution table and the return value will be in the second column of this table And the revenue will be equal to P times the sales. It's going to be equal to $10 times. Recall that sales is equal to the minimum number between all the quality and the demand. Next, cost will be equal to unit cost. $7.50 times the order quantity and then the refund is equal to $2.50 times the number of copies returned which is equal to the maximum value between 0 and Q minus D in the end the profit is revenue minus cost plus refund. All right. At this moment, demand is 150. All the quantity is 200. As a result, the uh, profit is $125. Next, we are going to use two-way data table to run 1,000 replications of simulation for each of those different order quantities. All right, let's give it a try. And first of all, over here in cell A23, we are going to tell Excel data table what we would like to replicate, which is our profit. And then let's select the entire table Click data, what if analysis, data table. In this case, we have all the quality in row, so the row input cell will be actually B9, where the original order quantity is. So you are essentially telling the Excel data table that every time we change a number in a row, uh, this number will be fitting into cell B9 because all the quantity indeed affects our profit. And what about column input cell? Like we mentioned earlier, uh, in A column, all we have is the replication index. They don't come into play for the profit. So we can choose any empty cell on the worksheet. Let's try, for example, L19 and then click okay and immediately uh, we see uh, 1000 replications have been simulated for each of those different order quantities and the average profits are shown in row 14 and apparently if we order 100 copies each time the profit will be a constant because it's going to be guaranteed all those 100 copies will be sold the resulting profit will be uh, $250. Now let's take a look at the uh, average profit and the standard deviation of profit. Not surprisingly, average profit of all the quantity 100 is $250. Uh, in this case, at this moment, average profit is $254.56, which is 
for all the quantities are 125 and so far it looks like all the quantity of 150 is the best choice but we can recalculate by clicking recalculate now over here of course uh, you can press F9 on your uh, PC but at this moment my F9 key is occupied by Camtasia so I'm just gonna click calculate now over here to do recalculation and once again it looks like uh, all the quantity of 150 give us the highest average profit of 266 with standard deviation profit of 170 dollars and then let's do it a couple more times all right to 67 dollars of average profit for all the quantity of 150 right now and then we try a few more times so it appears that uh, 150 is the uh, best order quantity after we have run the simulation a few uh, times and the order quantity of 125 is a uh, close second and if you order more such as if you order 275 or 300 copies the net result will be a uh, loss all right Here's where I'm going to stop and hope you enjoyed this uh, example of simulation in Excel.